Hey there, this is Matteo from Sport Homie Now, and today we're in Viale Monza, literally a few steps away from the underground stop uh, Turro of line number one. You know, to show you a whole apartment with kitchen, bedroom, living room, and bathroom, which is located on the ground floor. So it is accessible through the courtyard, as you can see here just behind me, where we also do have a bike rack. And now uh, let's just go ahead and let me show you around. So this is our bar door, which uh, leads uh, directly to the kitchen, and the uh, living room is actually located right on top of it just uh, through this uh, elevated level so we're going to show it to you later on while proceeding through this uh, pocket door we have in front of us the bathroom and on the left we find the bedroom which is uh, split into two different levels itself so it's a very peculiar and uh, cozy apartment as you can notice on the ground level of the bedroom we find this uh, huge built-in uh, wardrobe with uh, plenty of compartments where you can uh, hang your clothing, and there's also a set of shelvings here. Another door here with yet some more room and organizers. There is even a corner compartment here, very spacious. And uh, a couple of more doors over here. This one includes a chest of drawers too. We have uh, built in uh, lights here in the ceiling, and there's also a pretty high and uh, luminous uh, window which is uh, facing the interior courtyard, so it's actually a private street. So it might not be the most charming one, but it's still a very nice and quiet surrounding door, despite being uh, on Viale Monza, which is a pretty busy street with uh, plenty of facilities, including shops, bars, supermarkets, and uh, post offices and banks. So we're now walking up these uh, few steps you know, to access the upper level of the bedroom, which has this uh, nice uh, wooden ceiling and uh, turning around the corner, we find the uh, bed itself. We have a little bench here, and this is the double bed. It's more of, of a queen size, I would say. This window is uh, just for ventilation mainly. And there's a couple of uh, shelvings where you can put your books, or even maybe just place your laptop and you can just uh, use it to watch TV. We can now proceed back downstairs to the ground level. It's a very unique structure for this apartment indeed, very nicely furnished too. And uh, here at the end of this little corridor, where we also have uh, the washing machine just behind these curtains, we find the bathroom, which is uh, also separated through a pocket door. As we go through it, we have both of the toilets, the bathroom and bidet. Here we have the sink and this uh, nice uh, mirror with a wooden frame. At the bottom we have a little cabinet with some drawers where you can put your hygiene products. And going past it we have the bathtub with its hose as well as the box shower. So you have the option for both. A set of uh, shelvings and uh, hooks to hang the towels as well. While the window over there is still facing the interior courtyard where we came from. We got the curtains for it of course. And here we are back at the entrance with the spacious uh, kitchen, very stylish too. So again uh, we have the stairs leading uh, to the upper level with the living room. Just in front of the entrance we have this uh, cabinet where you can store the plates and glasses which are provided with apartment. And there's a large one here. The kitchen comes with this uh, nice uh, wooden peninsula table with a couple of uh, stalls. And uh, going around it, we have these uh, shelvings. There's also a cabinet here. Well, on this uh, kitchen counter, we find uh, the fan for the gas stove, which we have here at the bottom. Some uh, shelvings, a cabinet uh, here. And uh, on the other side, we find this uh, cupboard with the rack to dry your plates after washing. And right underneath, we've got the large sink, room for the rubbish. And here we have a little dishwasher too. On the top cupboard we have uh, room for the glasses and plates. It's also an extra light here. Well, in this uh, wooden cupboard we find a freezer as well as the fridge right underneath. So fully equipped uh, kitchen. On this uh, cozy corner we have the wooden table with uh, six uh, seats. So you can uh, even uh, have some friends coming over for dinner and a cozy fireplace which is not in use, it's not allowed in Milan unfortunately. Some uh, cool uh, photos from uh, all around the world. And another nice uh, cabinet here with some built-in shelvings. 
So we can now proceed uh, heading upstairs. Just before it, you can notice here we have another luminous uh, window with its uh, curtains. And on the top level, we finally can show you the living area. Up there, on top of the entrance door, you can notice the air conditioning unit. Even here, we find a lovely wooden uh, ceiling. That's a very stylish uh, lamp uh, too. A wooden uh, chest over here. Well, in this corner, we find a flat screen TV with a hi-fi system too. There's a little lovely desk in this corner where you can uh, read uh, or study and work from home. Another lamp and uh, this uh, comfortable uh, couch which uh, converts into an additional uh, double bed just by unfolding it. We have some nice decorations all around and these are still belonging to the hi-fi system. So you can uh, listen to the music in this area and just uh, chill. We have this uh, railing separating you from the kitchen just for your safety. So indeed a very peculiar arrangement of the apartment which is still very functional so you gain a lot of uh, areas out of the square meters. The location is uh, very convenient being so close to the underground line number two which is a direct connection to the city center so you're just uh, two or three stops away from Piazza del Loreto where you also have the inter interchange for line number two. And with this we show you everything so thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs> ciao ciao!